So this question says, which of the following pieces of information is sufficient to prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle? So before I look at the answer choices, I'm going to remind myself of what, you know, what are the rules for becoming an isosceles triangle. So I know that in order to be an isosceles triangle, you have to have two congruent angles. And I'm sorry, two congruent sides. I'm thinking angles, but I'm drawing sides. So two congruent angles sides as well as two congruent angles. But if I remember from geometry, there are two rules, right? You can either, right, if we're focusing on the sides, as long as you have these two sides, you're going to be considered congruent because like that kind of forces these angles to be the same. Um, and vice versa, if you're told that you have two congruent angles, then by default, these two sides are going to also be congruent to each other, right? So you don't have to have both things you don't have to be told both things at the same time you could be told either or right so which of the following pieces of information is sufficient to prove that triangle abc is an isosceles triangle well the first one is that ab is congruent to bc right so let's see if i have a b c so AB is congruent to BC. Well, sure, right? That looks like this example, where what we're being told is that we have two congruent sides. So if that was all I had to work with, that would be sufficient to know that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So definitely one. And then two says angle A is congruent to angle C. So again, I draw another right, another triangle, I'm sorry, and I have my A, B, and C. So now I'm being told that these two angles are congruent. And again, that relates to this process here. In which case, if I know that two angles are congruent, yes, that is sufficient. That is enough information for me to then say that triangle ABC must be an isosceles triangle. Or could be, I should say, an isosceles triangle. So choice two is also correct. So answer choice A says one is sufficient, but two is not. Well, that's not the case. B says two is sufficient, but one is not. That's also not the case. Choice C says either one or two is sufficient. Yes, right? They could, they could be separate. Either one is by itself or two is alone. So choice C, I'm banking on being the correct answer. Choice D says neither one nor two is sufficient. So that can't be right, right? We do know that as, as long as we're told either two sides are congruent, that's enough. Or if we're told two angles are congruent, that's also enough. So choice D is out. So the best answer here is choice C.